Hi, in this video we'll be talking about different types of animation we can add to our shapes. In the previous video we saw position animation where we can animate our object from one point to another, but what other kinds of animations can we add? In this lesson we'll be talking about animating position, rotation, color, and opacity. Before we get started with other tags, let's review how we animate position. As you may remember, we need to set three main parameters inside the animation attribute. The property parameter tells us what we want to animate. In this case, it's the position of the box. The from is our starting position, and the to is our ending position. As we mentioned before, since we're animating the position, the from and to are both positions. Now let's take a look at animating rotation. This can look pretty cool as it gives the object a spinning effect. To animate rotation, we set the property parameter to rotation. Next, we set the from parameter to the starting rotation position. Notice now that the from is a rotation since we are animating rotation. Finally, we set the to position as the ending rotation. Let's take a quick look at this in the editor. Okay, so let's take a look at how we can do a rotation animation. So again, I'm going to type in animation and I'm going to specify my parameters. So the first one is property and this is going to be rotation now. Okay, and our from Again, we want to start where our initial position is. So it's a 0, 45, negative 45, and 0. So 0, negative 45, and 0. Okay, and then I can go on my 2. I can change that to 0, negative, or positive 45, and 0. Let's give that a try. And I see my cube rotate. Next, we're going to look at animating color. Just like the other animations, we have to set the property from in two parameters. Before we get there though, I want to point out that the color animation uses the RGB values. So far, you may have been using color names such as red and blue, but to animate color, you need to use the RGB values or red, green, blue values for the code. You can find more information in the Docs tab on the CodeH editor. Let's go take a quick peek now. Okay, so we're going to look at how we use our color picker. If I come over to my docs, you'll see a bunch of options with color. If you go to RGB colors, you'll see it's kind of explained down there. But I also want to look at this color picker option. So when I click that, I can actually select a color, and I can go over to my sliders, and it tells me what values to put in. So for example, red, 76. If I put in my green, 255, and my... 101 for my blue, and I go over to run code, I'm going to get a block that matches that color there. So you can use this to help with the RGB options in your code. Getting back to the color animation, we start by setting the parameter properties to indicate that we are going to animate color. Since we're animating color, our from is now a color. Again, notice that we're using the RGB values to specify the color here. Finally, our two value also becomes a color, and again, using the RGB value here. Let's take a look at this in the editor. Okay, so now let's take a look at how we animate the color in the editor. So we're going to start off with this indigo, which is RGB 82, 0, and 130. So again, animation equals, and this time our property is going to be color. And we need to use this RGB as we animate color. So our from is going to be the same as our starting, which is RGB 82, 0, 130. And our 2, we're just going to turn this into red. So that's going to be RGB 255 from our red and 0 for our green and 0 for our blue. So give this a run. And then we go into red. Finally, we're going to look at animating opacity. Opacity is the amount of transparency of the object. This allows objects to appear or disappear in the scene. 
The property parameter gets set to opacity. Opacity is measured on a scale from 0 to 1. 1 represents fully visible and 0 represents totally transparent or invisible. Since we want our object to fade out of the scene, we're going to start at an initial opacity of 1. Our ending opacity will then be 0, representing an invisible object. Let's take a look at this final one in the editor. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at animating opacity. So remember, we're just going to type in our animation tag, our attribute. And we're going to start this by using the property. And this is going to be opacity. Okay. Now remember, 1 as a from value gives us a solid start. And a 2, 0 will help us fade out. Let's give that another try. So again, we see how we're just fading out. We can actually switch these around and we will fade in. And that's it.